Hi, this is Bethany Gagné, founder of the Albany Peace Project, and today I'm here with Michael Wayne, who is a man of many, many talents. Um, not only is he a wonderful acupuncturist here in the Albany and Clifton Park area, but you've also written a couple books, Quantum Integral Medicine, right? That's one. And um, the, your latest one coming out, can you tell people the name of it? Uh, the book I have coming out, probably in the spring, is called The Quantum Revolution, The Power to Transform. Wow. Those are big ideas. Yeah, absolutely. Can you tell people, I mean, I think it's so fascinating how you kind of work from a medicine perspective and now you've taken it to like an everyday life perspective of, of transforming our health, our emotions, our minds, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, so, so one of the themes I work with are, are, are a phrase that, or a mantra, so to speak, that's in my mind is, is the famous saying of Gandhi, be the change you wish to see in the world. So I think there's an interrelationship between... Um, our own transformation and the transformation of, of the larger whole. Right. And, and a lot has to do with intention, meditation, I mean just part of what you're doing with the Albany Peace Project. But for me, for me it's, 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 a, it's a clear path from medicine and, 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 and the work I've done and the ideas I've put forth, not only working with people individually, but, but trying to push ideas into the world. Of, um, of transformation and, and the relationship between healing and transformation and it's not just healing the individual but but it, a lot of it is the way we think and the way people present themselves in the world because through my experience working with people helping people heal I see that one of the greatest impediments to people healing is the way we think or, or, or we could say the impediments we put in our own our own path to block ourselves from healing mm, and a lot right. of it is just the way our, our, we think and, and our perceptions the way we put ourselves forth and so a lot of it is just when we can change our perception and change the way we see things there there's so much that can change in front of our ourselves right. so just like what you're doing again with the peace project the intention to change to create less crime, better, more peace and harmony in a region is, yeah. is, is possible. So is that what your book is going to be about, The Quantum Revolution? But the... it's, yeah, it's about, it's really about what, what I'm, you know, in a way, advocating revolution. I mean, it's, it's a book that, <laughs> that integrates ideas in healing and spirituality and consciousness, quantum physics and politics and psychology, right. really about how can we create a revolution. That is so true. You know, I, you know. And, and actually, the last chapter of the book is how to start a revolution. Ah, I so, love it. Oh my yeah. goodness. But it's but it's really about what holds us back. And and if we remember, like a couple of years ago, there was um, when there was the whole Occupy movement, mm -hmm. and, there, and there was a slogan, "We are the ninety nine percent." But really, the truth is that we are the hundred percent, and that we're all in this together. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 You know, I got this sense the other day, a lot of times people, you know, people have heard me talk about Vote With Your Heart and the Omni Peace Project, and I did, I got this sense of like a, like an election, like, you know, like this quantum, well, you're right, a quantum revolution, we can all kind of stand up and vote with our hearts and have our vote be accounted for and, uh -huh. and uh, evolve. Yeah, and, and the thing about the, these ideas, quantum revolution, so to speak, that there's a lot of, even though, you know, you watch the media, you watch the news, uh, you see the prevailing doom and gloom and, and negativity that, that just is, is pushed forth. But there, there's so much positive, so much great things going on in the world right now from, from a very deep-rooted level that really is, is the hope for the future. Right. And, and that's what your interview series does, right? You interview those people that are working. Yeah, yeah. I have this interview series, Interviews with the Leading Edge. Mm -hmm. um, at, at the, the website is leadingedgeinterviews.com. Nice. And, and yeah, I've been, I've been uh, doing long-form interviews, usually 45 minutes to an hour interview one-on-one -on -one with people who, are, who, who identified as being at the leading edge of bringing change. In various fields, whether they're whether it's spirituality or religion or politics or business or, or the arts, right? Um, and it, and it's really it it from from a personal level, it, it, I, I always get fired up doing the interviews because it really 
it, I, it really gives me a lot of hope for what's coming down the mm, pike. That is, people need to hear that. Balance yeah. that out with CNN, right? Yeah, so so it's easy to get like like feeling gloomy. Yeah, just mm. just that prevailing right. um, um, mindset that gets put forth, and it's like it's important for people to be able to discern what's what's true, what's noise, mm. what's what's just like just. Verb verbose right. uh, stuff that just is unnecessary. And it's always so helpful for people to see other people doing it. So I'm sure your interviews offer help that way, right? When, you know, studying the biographies of people that have kind of gone ahead of you or, you know, are doing stuff that, you know, that you, the, the people that you're interviewing for, for your interviews, um, they're out there. They're really doing it. They're living from that authentic place, right? And they're, uh -huh. they're, they're just going forward with the knowledge and depth within them. And so they're, and they're wonderful models for us to watch yeah. and emulate. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons why I started the series was to model for others, people mm, are doing, right. to inspire Powerful. people. And, and, and I've seen common themes in a lot of the people I've interviewed. Some of them are, and their age range varies, but all of them have great passion, great energy for, for living their life. Some of them travel nonstop, like, like <laughs> uh, probably the most senior in age uh, person I interviewed was, was uh, Barbara Marx Hubbard, who's, turning, who, who's 85 years old and she just continually travels and she just, <laughs> and, and, her, and her enthusiasm and radiance shown in, in just in my yeah. talking with her. Yeah. And, and, she, and she's realistic, she sees, oh yeah, we're, we're deep due to in many ways, but, right. but there is, there is hope there is potential. Nice, nice, absolutely. So, uh, what's the name of the website again? Um, well, well, there's the interviews with the Leading Edge, which is at leadingedgeinterviews.com, mm -hmm. and then it's it's on the Quantum Revolution website, quantumrevolution.net. Mm -hmm. Great, and your book is coming out in the spring? Yeah, Quantum Revolution, The Power to Transform. That's your fourth book? It'll be so... my fourth book. Wow, yeah. I read yeah. from a big good stuff, good yeah, stuff. Yeah, so. Nice. All right. Um, is there a website where all your books are on? Um, it it'll be real soon. It'll be on one website, oh, drmichaelwayne.com. Okay. So it'll all be there. Great. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, be sure to go check out um, Dr. Wayne's uh, website, and you're going to be leading us in a meditation in a yeah, little bit. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm very excited to do that, Bethany. Absolutely. Yeah, thank thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you.